and good morning. Welcome to this week's Sunday Starter. My name is Johnny. Uh, brilliant to have you with us if you're a regular member of our kids family here at St George's. But if you're watching us um, for any other reason from anywhere today, we hope that you will enjoy your experience uh, with us. Uh, we're taking a break from our normal uh, series, which we finished last week, and starting to think a little bit about Easter, as today is Palm Sunday. So that's the story that we are going to be exploring a little bit later. As normal, if you have a look in the description, uh, you can find a link that will take you to the full session, uh, including some questions, some other activities, uh, and a kind of sum up of everything that we'll be talking about uh, today. So do have a look at that. There are some worship um, uh, ideas as well, if you want to sing and celebrate uh, together uh, as a family, and some information for other events that are coming up in the next week or so. So do check out those uh, before you leave us today. We are going to begin, though, by playing a quick game. Now, as it's Palm Sunday, uh, if you know a little bit about the story, uh, it's about Jesus entering the city of Jerusalem, riding on a donkey with people waving uh, palm branches and singing and worshipping. So our game is a little bit related to that. In just a moment, on the screen, you're going to see a picture full of palm branches. Now, amongst those branches are some little pictures of some donkeys. So you're going to need to look at that picture really carefully Carefully. It's only going to be on screen for a little bit. I want you to try and see if you can count and spot all of the donkeys. Keep a tally, see if you can get them all correct and then we'll pop the answers up and see if you manage to get them all. So how many did you get correct? I think if you spotted them all, there was 10. We'll pop the answers up now, see if you managed to spot them all, and see if there was one that you may have missed. Fantastic. We're going to move on to our Bible story for today. Uh, if you want to follow along, uh, you need to have a look at uh, Mark chapter 11. So grab a Bible. Uh, find uh, Mark 11 and the story uh, can be found in verses 1 through to 11. Get your grown-up to help you uh, if you would like. Uh, we're going to watch this story now using some pictures and then we'll explore it together. Jesus was travelling with his 12 disciples to the city of Jerusalem. They stopped and Jesus sent two of his disciples ahead of them and told them, go into the next village and find a young donkey. Untie it and bring it to me. If anyone asks you, what are you doing? He told them, just say, the Lord needs it. So the disciples did just as he told them. They brought the donkey to him, put their cloaks over it, and Jesus sat on it. Jesus entered the city of Jerusalem and news swept quickly. People cut down palm branches and waved them. As he travelled down the road, they spread their cloaks on the ground and shouted, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. The people kept on singing, blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Brilliant. So it's two minute talk time where we try and take that Bible story and just explore a couple of things in two minutes. So we'll put the timer up and we will begin. So this is such an important story because it, it kind of kicks off the Easter journey. It's the first kind of part of Jesus's journey that will end at the cross. And there's three things uh, that I want us to think about uh, in our two minutes. First, when Jesus asks his disciples, he says, go to the village, you'll find a young donkey, bring it to me. If anyone asks what are you doing, say the Lord needs it. The disciples had to be, um, they had to obey Jesus's words. They might have thought, right, why do you want us to go and do that? But they do what Jesus says. We need to learn to be obedient. When Jesus calls us to do something, it's really important that we listen and we follow those instructions. The second thing, when Jesus enters the city of Jerusalem riding on a donkey, that was actually um, from a prophecy. A prophecy is from a prophet who kind of tells messages from God. 
And uh, in the book of Zechariah, in the Old Testament, he writes that the Saviour will come into Jerusalem riding on a donkey. So Jesus was, was fulfilling that promise from the Old Testament and shows that his entry um, into the city was very humble. It wasn't full of lots of, um, lots of uh, extra things that kings would have normally had. He was just on a donkey, just riding into the city. Shows he was a really humble king and his message was for everybody. And the last thing is what the people shout. They shout Hosanna, which is just kind of a cry of worship. And that's about us being ready to worship God. Um, and the crowd gets super excited. How excited are we for Jesus to get ready uh, to celebrate Jesus' resurrection uh, and all the joy, all the hope and all the freedom that that brings us? It's such an important story um, that reminds us of just those three things. OK, we are up on our two minutes, but I want us just to continue thinking about um, those things in our one thing, which is kind of like, um, what's the one thing we want to remember about this story? And it's just that, that Jesus is king. That's the first thing. But Jesus was a humble king. If you think about how a, a king or important people, um, they normally have loads of fanfare and loads of like expensive things that, that show their power. Jesus just came into the city of Jerusalem on the back of a donkey. Um, so simple, without lots and lots of things uh, happening around him. So it shows that he was a humble king. And the Bible talks about people being humble, not boasting um, about everything. And it reminds us that his message of love and of hope is for everybody. And that we have to remember that the same crowd that were singing Hosanna and worshipping Jesus would be the same crowd a little bit later on who would be shouting for Jesus to be crucified. And it's important to remember that we don't get swept up um, in the way that things change around us. We want to remember that Jesus is the king. He's the king in our life and his message is for everybody. And that's the important thing about this story. And our memory verse today is uh, from our passage. It is from, uh, where is it? Verse 9, where the people say, it says, The people who followed shouted Hosanna, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And those words are also uh, from the Old Testament, from the book of Psalms. This story is so important because it's Jesus fulfilling so many things that were written about him in the Old Testament. And Jesus doing them in such a specific way showed that he was fulfilling all of those promises, all of those messages that people in the Old Testament had written about him. Now, the people waved palm branches um, that have cut them down from the trees and waved them as an act of worship and celebration. And sometimes on Palm Sunday in church, we hand out palm crosses. But you can make one of these palm leaves, um, which you can make very simply out of a piece of green paper or card and a pair of scissors. Uh, and you can, uh, um, you can perhaps make lots of these, stick them up around your house or in your windows um, of your homes. Um, but all you need is a piece of green paper or a piece of paper which you can colour green um, and a pair of scissors. Take some time, grab a couple of those things and then I'll show you how to make uh, one of these. It's dead easy, it's super simple and you can get really creative with making loads of different designs. But have a go, I'll show you how to do it and then you can decorate uh, anything you want with them. Okay, so all you need is a piece of green card or paper and a pair of scissors. So you're just going to fold your card or your paper in half, lengthways. And then holding it with a folded edge, grab your scissors and just going to cut a leaf shape. Although it can be any kind of shape you want, really. And go for that. Okay, so get rid of that. And then along this edge here, you just want to make some cuts. And again, you can do whatever you want here. I'm going to go quite far into my leaf, but you can do whatever you want, really. I'm going to cut some bits out here. And triangles but this is up for your interpretation you can design this however you want and you can make lots of these if you wanted to and after 
do we open it out? There we have our palm leaf. Now you could stick a, a lolly stick or um, a piece of dowel down there so you've got something to wave it around on. Um, but there you have it. Really simple, really easy. You can make lots of those, maybe in different colours, different shades of green. Make a little display, have a go at designing your own little leaf and make your own little Palm Sunday story. Brilliant. Do have a go uh, at that craft if you get some time. Remember to have a look uh, at the link in the description. Remember those worship uh, ideas are there and the fuller uh, session with some other bits and pieces are on the website. As are all of the back uh, issues of Sunday Starters. If you've missed uh, a video or you've missed um, some material, they're all still on our YouTube channel and all of the sessions are on our website. So do access those if you would find it helpful and do share those around. If you're watching from another church, um, do share these around um, they're for, for anybody to use. If you've got a large group of children or a smaller group where you want to engage with some families do take that opportunity and do use those if you find it helpful I just want to quickly tell you about our Easter trail uh, we've got an Easter picture trail which is coming up it starts tomorrow in fact uh, on Monday and it runs right the way through until Sunday we are uh, we are hiding eight pictures that that depict the Easter story around the streets around where the church is you can go on our website you can download a map that will tell you where they all are you need to answer a very specific question that's on each picture. The map will take you to uh, the next one. When you've answered all of the questions, you can come back into church and we've got some goodie bags to give away. There's loads of great things in there. Uh, to enjoy as well as a fly that will give you all the information about everything else that we do as a church and as a kids group so do take the opportunity uh, to have a look at those uh, there'll be some other things happening in church uh, some simple prayer stations that go for the Easter story um, have a look at those uh, as well if you've got some time I hope you've enjoyed this uh, this morning's uh, session have a brilliant uh, week and a brilliant Easter and we'll be back next Sunday to explore uh, the story of Jesus's resurrection uh, the brilliant uh, kind of climb moment of the Easter story. Uh, so have a great week and we'll see you then.